of this QTH Africa presentation, we'll have a look at the anti-communist clandestine stations operating on the subcontinent. And most famous of them is a Voice de Africa Livre, the voice of Free Africa, operated by the popular movement for liberation of Mozambique, an anti-Marxist organization which shortly after Mozambique's independence has made the headlines by staging unsuccessful coup d'etat. The guerrillas seized Lorenzo Marx's radio and transmitted news bulletins in Portuguese and English. Here are some news items in connection with the coup d'etat which has taken place in Mozambique during the past 24 hours. As soon as an edition of the free newspaper Diario appeared on the streets early this morning, dozens of volunteers appeared to offer their help in distributing the paper throughout the city. Until 10 o'clock this morning, the presses of the Diario continued to turn out edition after edition to supply the demand on the streets. The wish to read a newspaper which is now free and not one-sided was uppermost in the minds of the people. The patriotic forces of the movement now occupy the premises of the Radio Club of Mozambique and all vital points of the city of Lorenzo Marx and surroundings. We have now the unconditional support of the majority of Mozambique population. The movement desires to install a democratic government. We are at present having conversations with representatives of the Portuguese Armed Forces in Mozambique. We want to obtain guarantees for the safety and well-being of everybody of all races and creeds and colors with a view to returning to normality as quickly as possible throughout Mozambique. We come to you with more news as soon as possible. Thank you. The popular movement for liberation of Mozambique then operated its own station, the voice of Free Africa, whose transmissions originated from the powerful medium wave transmitter in Guela in what was then Rhodesia. After the Rhodesia became independent, these transmissions ceased, and for a while it looked like the end of La Boche de Africa Livre. But shortly afterwards, this station appeared once more on a short waves in a 60 meter band and operates ever since on the frequency of 4764 kilohertz from an unknown location. Aqui Moçambique transmite a voz da África Livre. Aqui, Moçambique transmite a voz da África Livre. Todos os dias, nos 62 metros onda curta, Frequência respectiva dos 4.764 megaciclos por segundo, transmitimos duas emissões. Uma de manhã, das 6 às 7 horas, e outra à noite, das 19 às 20 horas.
diariamente das 6 às 7 horas e das 19 às 20 horas, aqui estaremos para lançar o grito de revolta do povo moçambicano na sua heroica luta contra o comunismo machelista. Esta é a voz da África Livre, emissora da liberdade e dos direitos do povo moçambicano na luta contra a opressão e escravatura imposta pelo comunismo machelista. da liberdade, povo moçambicano, bom dia ou boa noite, conforme a hora em que nos escutam. Portuguese colony, Angola, which has since the independence and civil war been ruled by Marxist MPLA, is target of two clandestine stations, both operating on the same frequency and presumably from the same location, believed to be in northern southwest Africa, Namibia, or in southern Angola. One of these stations, appearing somewhat erratically lately, is a Voice de Verdade, the voice of truth, transmitting in Portuguese and vernaculars a material hostile to the Luanda government.
além de camaradas nesta primeira parte do programa, convosco estão como habitualmente. Não posso ir na cabeça. Ora, é tanto no mesmo sentido do vosso comandante. Vocês nos encontram todos em vossa mesma hora. Nova hora da noite em cola. Em que admitimos a Laporta? Vamos dos 60 metros, 4.950 quilowatts por segundo. Another station, directed against the Marxist government of Angola, is the voice of resistance, operated by the Western-orientated movement UNITA, which controls large parts of southern Angola. The voice of resistance transmits in Portuguese and vernaculars daily at 0.430 to 0.530 and at 1800 to 1900 Greenwich Mean Time on frequency 49 Five zero kilohertz. Esta é a voz da resistência do Galo Negro, programa radiofónico da UNITA, dirigido a todo o país, do norte ao sul, do leste ao mar, rasgando espaços 
com sabor a pouco. Transmitimos todas as festas, quintas, sábados e domingos, no período da noite, das 19 horas às 20 horas e 30, com reposição às manhãs de segunda-feira, quartas, sextas e domingos, das 5 horas e 30 às 7 horas. Para todos, camaradas, compatriotas, combatentes da liberdade, aquele abraço militante e voto de boa audição. controversy surrounding Southwest Africa and Namibia is reflected in transmissions of two clandestine stations. One, already described, being the voice of Namibia, produced by Southwest Africa People's Organization. The other, pro-Western, anti-Marxist, and decidedly anti-Swapo is the voice of the peoples of Namibia operating from unknown location in the 60 meter band albeit somewhat erratically. allegiance springs to life from time to time on various frequencies around 49 or 41 meter band and there this station does not identify itself it operates in Spanish and is clearly aimed at Cuban military personnel in Angola Operating usually between 1700 to 1800 hours GMT, this station is something of a mystery. Nobody seems to know who is operating it and as far as the location is concerned, Angola, Zaire and even Ethiopia 
have been suggested by various monitors. The clandestine stations of Southern Africa has been compiled and presented by QTH Africa from its H. Africa presents Clandestine Stations of Southern Africa, Part 1. The ideological battle which rages for almost 40 years on the the capital of socialist Ethiopia. Radio Freedom is on the air daily from the external phases of Voice of Revolutionary Ethiopia on shortwave 81 meter band, 9595 kHz at 9.30 p.m. South African time. Until tomorrow at the same time, this is Richmond Ramosu saying, forward to Apple's government, this three is facing.
second a pro-communist station is the voice of Namibia which transmits its programs on behalf of the Southwest African People's Organization via Angola and Ethiopia. Voice of Namibia, same as Radio Freedom, used to transmit via Zambia also before the Zambia's external service ceased to operate. At present, it can be heard via Angola, Luanda, on frequencies of 7245, 9535 and 11955 kilohertz. Freedom Fighters, you are still in tune with the voice of Namibia, coming to you from the external service of Radio Zambia here in Lusaka. Now a short summary follows in Nama, read by yours ever in the struggle, Sari Aces. Go out though, sing what I thought it would come out though, next to the game, go on stop, then go see. And also, via Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, on a frequency 
before the independence of Zimbabwe two different Marxist oriented programs were on the air each supporting a different faction of what has since become the ruling patriotic front in Zimbabwe. One of these was transmitted from Zambia Lusaka on frequency 9580 kHz and called itself a People's Revolutionary Voice of Zimbabwe. Today's broadcast from the ZPRV, the Zimbabwe People's Revolution Voice, which came to you from Lusaka on the external service of Radio Zan. here in Lusaka, and on behalf of the people of Zimbabwe, their political vanguard, the Patriotic Front, and the Zimbabwe combatants inside and outside the country, the message is, be vigilant. Not a day without the struggle, not an hour without the movement, and not a minute without the people. <laughs> The second program, aimed at then Rhodesia, was called simply Voice of Zimbabwe and originated from the transmitters in Antananarivo at Madagascar on frequencies of 5010 and 6135 kHz.
Marxist voice of Zimbabwe used to be transmitted also from Maputo in Mozambique and these transmissions became after the Zimbabwe's independence the external service of Radio Mozambique still using the same frequencies that is 3265 4855 9530 and 11818 kHz Fala-vos a Rádio Moçambique, dos seus estúdios em Maputo, a transmitir o seu serviço externo em 25 e 31 metros, onda curta. This is the external service of Radio Mozambique, broadcasting from Maputo on 25 meters and 31 meters on short waves. not presently involved actively in this propaganda war of the clandestine stations except as a target of one of the most famous clandestine operations in Africa.